Hello, I'm Joseph. What I'm showing here is probably something that no one would really realistically do, except maybe me. Um, and that's because I live in an area where there's high winds, there's fires, there's high um, snow issues. And so these require power shutoff. And um, so very often I will have no power. Um, and so I have a gas generator. Uh, I can't bring it in the frame because all the crap I have on here, but it's like an 800 watt gas generator. It's like 150 bucks. Um, but what I'm showing here is the M4 Mac Mini a portable display with 100% brightness running at um, up to eight watts. This is for typical usage. Uh, if I go ahead and open up Safari here and I go to like a, a benchmark here. So if I go to um, browser benchmark.org and say I run the speedometer and I start this, um, this is reporting that it's 10 watts, 11 watts, 10, 11 watts. So 10, 11 watts of usage. Now, this is 100% brightness. If I actually change this down to, to just even like 50% brightness, uh, it's still more than usable for me. And so this brings it down now to uh, around 8 watts. And I can go even further. I can bring this down to zero brightness. For me, I can still see this. For you guys, maybe not. But I'm looking at 2 watts, 2.7 watts, 3 watts, 4 watts, that type of stuff. I think it's crazy. So if I go ahead and um, try to rerun this, start test, uh, I'm going to report it one more time. So we got eight watts, seven watts, so seven to eight watts running on what would be typically like a full load when you're doing stuff on this M4 Mac Mini. Now, the fan that you hear right now is actually from the inverter that you see. Now, the, th the thing that makes this all special is that the power supply in here is actually 12 volt, 10 amp. Um, which means that you can get these LiPo batteries. This is $25. Um, this lasts with this voltage or the wattage usage uh, for about eight hours. So in combination with a gas powered generator, I can charge one of these in about an hour or two. Um, and then I'll have the next battery ready. I can put these in parallel, connect them together. This will give me like over 16 hours of battery for 50 bucks. Um, the inverter here, it was also cheap. It was like $25. It is only supporting up to 200 watts, but considering that this is taking like maximum 15 watts or something, that's crazy. And if I was just running off the gas generator, I don't need to put this in low power mode. I can have two monitors set in eco mode um, with this here, keyboard, everything drives. That's like 50 watts of continuous usage. And I say that because with a gas generator, you have to use the power or it just goes to waste. Um, so I can have a full setup. I can have a single gallon of gas in my gas generator for five hours, giving me a continuous 250 watts, being able to charge one of my batteries and be able to do the swap as needed, uh, which is really, really cool. Now, if you're going to go down this route, Again, make sure it is 12 volts, 10 amps. Um, the actual watt hours will depend. You can get these that have like 15,000 deep cycles and they have like a, a thousand uh, plus watt, watt hours for like a hundred and something dollars. That would probably be a better investment than doing these little batteries. But I didn't want to spend that much for what I need for like a kind of a, a teeter system where I go from my gas generator to a battery backup. Now, one other thing is you will need a, a way to charge these batteries. You can't charge them traditionally through like a car battery charger. Um, so you do need a, like a specific li LiPo battery charger. I got this also for like $25. So this whole setup here was less than a hundred bucks for a battery system that can last me up to 16 hours. If I really, really needed it, and I was in that dire of a situation where maybe I run out of gas and I, I don't have anywhere, any way to get my gas generator to run uh, to be able to power this. One other thing that you have to make sure uh, when you're considering this is like this this is a uh, storage drive it's thunderbolt 4 compatible um this takes five watts by itself this takes more wattage than the actual mac mini and the display combined together on an idle load so i have two drives that connect to this and that's where i was talking about like i can have a full setup two external drives keyboard and mouse i can have um you know two full displays not just like a portable display 50 watts continuous usage around average um, the low power mode also makes sure that this fan never reaches above a thousand, um, RPM, which means this thing is dead silent. If you're doing voice work, um, you may want to just put this in low power mode to make sure your fan never exceeds that amount. Um, the performance on this is on par with the M1 Mac mini, um, in low power mode. 
So you in low power mode, it actually reduces the clock speed um, to I think like 2.0 hertz or 2.1. Um, but this is as fast as the M1 Mac Mini, and even with the graphics capabilities of the M4 non-pro, even in low power mode, it is still better than the M1 Mac Mini. And so you're bringing that total wattage down to a maximum possibility of 25 watts. And the only reason to do that is so that you can have um, a, like a total head count of how many possible watts you can use so you can kind of set up your battery system if you're going to do that. Obviously, you probably don't want to go from a battery directly to your inverter. You probably want some um, BMS or battery management system so that you don't in, un, you know, unintentionally destroy the battery from draining it completely down to zero. Because um, these are, aren't really like the uh, these type of batteries here where it's just like a little USB-C. And I did try to power the Mac Mini via USB-C here. This goes up to 15. I have another that goes up to 20 watts. I also have a couple of power supplies that supplies a bunch of different wattages for USB-C, whether it's uh, 45, 65, and up. Uh, none of them, like, it, it just doesn't work. You can't put USB-C only. It has to be AC power coming in. It can't, uh, it can't be anything else. So that's all I'm going to say. Uh, hopefully this video was useful here. Um, I'm, I don't know. I just think it's really cool that you can get something as low as that here for this type of system um, for a very very capable machine that is top of its class and uh, even the base model is amazing.